What is up, everybody? Escape211 here, and we're on the test server once again. We're looking at the Nade Launcher 8, and uh, I'm going to put the build up for this one, but it's all maxed out, man. I, I took the uh, the uh, Barrage Pilot, maxed it out, gave it the best implants, maxed out, maxed out the weapon, and put it on a Lancer because I want to do some hopping fun, but mostly because I did have a few people after I posted the other video saying that the only way this weapon works well is with that you know, pilot uh, maxing everything out for like the highest level damage you can get as well as that radius implant. So I wanted to play around and test that out uh, to see it as well as show it just for everyone else. Um, and overall, I, I think that that's pretty true. I, I think that, you know, I, I've played with this at different stages uh, and played some other matches already with this where it is at this kind of stage. And yeah, this is where like you get a lot more consistency in your shots, in your damage. Um, and it's what I honestly feel like an artillery weapon should be. This is probably better than like in terms of how it should be landing or hitting than rocket mortars in terms of fairness uh, overall, because the radius on that is just insane and the, and the distance too. Um, but you know, overall, I, I've been happy with the performance here. Now, um, obviously it, that's, that's a lot to invest in. And then the question is like, you know, what's, what's the best kind of setup for it? Um, I, I think, you know, it makes a lot of sense on a light mech if you want to do artillery duty with a light mech because, like we said, Rocket Mortar H just doesn't really cut it. This is probably your best option if you wanted to do that, like with a Lancer or Shadow or something like that. Maybe even an MD if you're an MD player. Uh, I could see where that would be a pretty useful way to utilize an MD. Um, but, uh, you know, with as far as other mechs, I, I don't know. I can't really see it as something that, you know, you need to do. Um, I will say that, like, one that comes to mind would be Orion. Orion with the um, uh, with the, the mark could slow someone down because, you know, you, you want to hit slow-moving targets with this to make sure your shots land. Even with the radius implant, you still want to make your shots land pretty well. Um, so, you know, you got to think about that kind of stuff. Um, he would be good for that. See this guy creeping up over here um yeah and as you can see i'm just trying to like prep shots or get ready for him i think somebody already killed him but oh maybe we can get this guy here uh, hit, we're hitting him we're hitting him that's good i just ran out of shots yeah um yeah with this weapon i feel like the range is good the reload is good the controlled shots that you can do is really nice there's a lot to like about this weapon it's just that you know it's an eight energy weapon, so you have to consider that. And like I said, with Orion, with the slowdown, it could be good. Um, this guy, we can get him, come on. Ah, man, but look at that though. I mean, I, I feel like I hit a lot of those shots. I feel like when I'm trying to aim it down, it does try to hit things like close to me um, sooner than I would expect. Like I feel like the arc would start a little higher up so that it, it didn't hit right at my feet like that, as you can see in those shots. But I guess once you angle down far enough, that's hard to do. Uh, one thing I do want to try with this weapon, I didn't yet, is try it with horizontal targeting. And then when you do a lock on, if I change my, um, you know, pitch up and down, uh, how much is that going to affect the distance of the shot while still trying to maintain the target? Because when I when I click on a target or when I highlight a target, it does a good job of finding that distance directly. But if I lock on a target and I try to go higher to like go over a structure, does it hold that target? I don't know. I haven't really played with it that much to know but it is something to think about um, overall. But like I said, anyway, I mean, it's it's kind of limited in your usage for it. Like I said, Orion would be good. I think this would be good with a Stasis 16 as well, where you can get him in Stasis decently enough, but then hit him with the weapon. Is that realistic? Probably not. <laughs> I mean, really with this weapon, I can't see it being super meta, super realistic, and not something that I would say worth investing all of these resources versus other weapons. Um, when we see the higher caliber version that may be different, we'll see, but I don't know. I mean, those are the kind of thoughts I had of where this weapon could sit, uh, some interesting uses. Uh, I'm curious to hear what you guys think, what you think could run, would work with this weapon. So feel free to comment that kind of stuff below and we'll see you out there on the battlefield.